today we are going to talk about Castile soap. You know Castile is a natural, wonderful soap that you can use to clean so many things. And because it's natural, it is so safe. Couple of things about Castile. Now this is Dr. Bronner's Castile, and I know you've heard of that before. Number one, it comes in fragrances. If you don't want to use essential oils when you're making products, you can pick out something that has the fragrance in it. This is a peppermint tea tree oil, and microbial properties are in that. Always use that, I love it. Another thing about Castile soap, never, ever, ever use it with vinegar. Vinegar will turn it into a gloppy mess. So never put it together. Now let's talk about a great all-purpose cleaner. We're gonna take a quart of water. To that, we're going to add one quarter cup of Castile soap. Any fragrance you want, it can be just plain unscented or anything you like. Shake it up really well and spray and wipe. Now, if you used regular Castile and you wanna put your own fragrance in, use essential oils. They blend perfectly with it, with no problem. Now, I like to use it for a soft scrubbing cleanser. And this one looks a little goopy because actually this is mine and I've had it for a while, but you're gonna use it just like a soft cleanser. You're gonna put it on the surface, take a wet cloth or a sponge and rub it in. What you're going to do is take one cup of baking soda, one quarter cup of Castile soap, and about two tablespoons of water. Mix it together, put it in a storage container that's labeled. Use a brush or a scrubbing sponge. You can use it on all your bathroom and kitchen surfaces. It will not scratch anything and it does a great job. Now, I like to make my own reusable wipes instead of buying the ones that we throw away. And it's easy. You can take a washcloth, you can take any kind of cloth like this, and I tear these or cut these into the sizes that are appropriate for a wipe. Then I'm gonna put in about a tablespoon of water, and I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of pure Castile soap, and I'm kind of blending that around in the bottom. Then I will add to that one more cup of water. Add essential oils if you want. I use tea tree oil because of its micro antimicrobial properties. Mix it up, take your cloths, put it in, wring them out, use them to wipe anything with, and I throw them in with my towels to wash them when I'm done. And you can fill this thing right up and it's so quick and easy to make, you'll love it. Now, what can you do about fruits and vegetables? You can use it for a fruit and vegetable wash. Put water in a bowl, in your sink, whatever, use one quarter teaspoon of Dr. Bronner's. And I don't use the scented for that, I use the regular. Let them sit a few minutes, swish them around, rinse, and you're done, it's that safe. And for ants, ants hate Dr. Bronner's Castile soap. So what you wanna do is take about a quart of water, take about a quarter cup of your Castile soap, mix it together, shake it, put it in a spray bottle, spray it. Where you see ants never spray it on plants, they don't like it either. But spray it on and it will keep the ants away. It does a great job. If you're looking for a printable copy of this, go to queenofclean.com. Check me out on Real Queen of Clean on Facebook and join us on our private group, Queen of Clean Insiders. Thanks for talking dirty with the Queen of Clean.